Hello. In this tutorial for the Code.org App Lab environment, you're going to learn how to take a list and display it nicely formatted on the screen of the app. This tutorial uses block mode. However, if you'd like to see the tutorial in text mode, check out the link in the video description or click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Let's start by going to the design mode and we'll have to add a design element to the screen. We have two choices. We can either use a label or we can use a text area. I prefer to use a text area because that way if there's not enough room, the app will add a scroll bar and we can scroll down and see the rest of the data. So I'm gonna take and drag a text area. I'm gonna resize it. And I'm gonna rename the ID. I'm gonna call it TXT Array Output. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna select read only. A text area can be used for input or output. This text area should only be for output. We don't want the user to be able to type anything in it. That's why we selected read only. Next, I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna to go to font family and I'm gonna change it from Arial to Arial black. And it's a little bolder and easier to read. Next, let's go to code. So we're gonna start by creating a list. I'm going to say show toolbox. I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to grab a variable, drag it here. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to say numbers. Let's close that up, give ourselves a little more room. And I'm going to set it equal to a list. The type of list we are using is an array. So you'll hear me use the term list and array interchangeably. Array is a little more specific because that's the type of list we're using in App Lab. However, list, the more general term, is probably what you're going to hear used in curriculum materials. So I have those two square brackets. I'm going to put in some random numbers. Next, I'm going to make another variable because we need to convert this to a nicely formatted string. So I'm going to go to show toolbox again. I'm going to take another variable. And I'm going to call this one numbers formatted. And I'm going to set it equal to numbers, which is the name of the variable pointing at our list, dot join, open close parentheses. So join is going to join these individual elements into a string. And then inside the parentheses, I'm going to have a quote unquote, and then inside the quote unquote backslash n. And that means in between each of these elements, it's going to put a backslash n, and a backslash n is new line, so it's going to put each of these on its own line. Make sure if you're doing this, use a backslash instead of a forward slash. The backslash is the one above the enter key. The forward slash is the one to the left of the shift key. Now I have my list as a formatted string in numbers formatted. The final thing we have to do is we have to put the data in this variable into our text area. So I'm going to go to UI controls. And I'm going to grab set text. The ID of this is TXT array output. If you can't see it all the way, go back to the design mode and then you can see the full name. TXT array output. Now, as this stands, it would set this to the word text because it's inside quotation marks. Let's delete all this and we're going to say numbers formatted. Notice, since it's a variable, we are not putting it inside quotation marks. We don't want the word numbers formatted to go there. We want whatever's inside the variable numbers formatted. Finally, let's run this program to try it out. Run, and we can see all the variables. We can move that up and down just a little bit, but we can pretty much see everything. Let's add a few things to this array so we can see more down there. So I'm going to hit that right pointing arrow, and I'm going to add a string. Hello. Sure, since this string we have inside quotation marks, we'll add one more string by quote unquote. Close that out, it'll be easier to see. There we go. Let's reset this and run it again. And there we go, we can see the last elements. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, Click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.